as you're going through your spiritual awakening journey, there will be times when you go through a period of immense challenges, adversities, and even darkness. And these periods are called the darkness of the soul. Now, these periods can last anywhere from a few days to a few weeks to even a few months and even a few years. Usually the very first darkness of the soul that you're experiencing, that usually what is what kickstarts your spiritual awakening. And that one is usually the most challenging one. And the biggest challenge that really comes with the darkness of the soul is that it, they are usually very painful because you're going through so many adversities, so much change, so much stuff is happening in your life where it becomes very overwhelming and even painful. And in this video, I want to share with you the common reasons why darkness of the souls are so challenging and even painful. And knowing these reasons will actually give you power because with awareness comes the power of choice. If you have the awareness of why darkness of the souls are so challenging, beside the fact that they are challenging, is that you can do something about it because Dark of the souls, they usually happen multiple times. With each stage of your awakening, there comes a period of somewhat of a challenge because at the core of the dark of the soul is that it's ego death. The ego is falling away. The ego is dying off, so to speak. And that is what usually makes it so very challenging because your ego doesn't want to die off. The, the ego doesn't want to change. The ego wants to stay the way it is, right? The ego doesn't like change. And when we're talking about awakening, there is a lot of change that comes with it. So at the core of the darkness of the soul is that it is the death of the ego. And the more you awaken, the easier these periods of darkness of the souls can last. My very first one actually lasted two years. And I think it was like multiple ones back to back. But now whenever I'm experiencing darkness of the souls, they usually only last maybe a few days, at most maybe a week or two, depending on how intense uh, the growth that I experienced. But usually the, the first few are usually the most challenging ones because what happens when you are going through a darkness of the soul is you are being reawoken to your soul self. That's what happens. You are you are meant to wake up. And oftentimes we don't, we're so in on autopilot, we don't want to wake up, right? Our ego doesn't want us to wake up. So something really bad has to happen to wake us up, to shake us to the core of our being so we can wake up like, oh my God, what just happened, right? That usually then kickstarts your spiritual awakening journey, the, the growth of your spirituality and also the darkness of the soul. Because you are meant to reawaken to your soul self. And that also often means is for all that old stuff needs to fall away. So here I want to invite you to check out a video. If you're not quite sure if what you're experiencing right now is a dark enough to soul, check out a video. It's in the description below with some of the common signs and symptoms of you know, what you're experiencing as you're going through a dark nerve of the soul. So link is in the description below. But let me share with you the six common reasons why dark nerve of the souls are so challenging. So you have the awareness to then do something about. So you have that awareness that if you're experiencing that, you can then do something about it so it won't be so challenging. The first reason is that there's resistance. Because what happens when you're awakening is that you have to do your inner work. A spiritual awakening journey is a journey of going within, of rediscovering yourself, of healing deeply. And oftentimes doing that inner work is painful, is uncomfortable because you have to dig up a lot of stuff that you may not want to dig up. You have to do that inner work and that is very challenging for many because it's about taking responsibility. It's about uncovering all these things and from a non-judgmental point of view because you didn't know any better. The things that you have experienced, and this could also include past life stuff, ancestral stuff, karmic stuff, those type of things. It's not just the experience that you've had in this lifetime, but it's your soul's life, okay? Your soul has experienced many things and that can affect you today. And usually when you're going through a dark night of the soul, that is that period of immense inner healing, uncovering, digging deep, and so much is happening, which can cause resistance because who wants to go deep and, and uncover? cover all these things because it's like opening Pandora's box, right? There's that resistance to doing that. But unfortunately, that is what actually needs to happen because all the stuff that you stuff down, that you're stuffing it into Pandora's, Pandora's box, it doesn't go away. It's still there. 
And during a dark night of the soul, during your spiritual awakening journey, you're meant to unpack all that stuff that you have stuffed deep within, the traumatic events, the challenging events, all of those different things. You're meant to heal from that, release that, clear that out, and things like that. And doing that inner work is often what most people resist. I remember in the beginning, I didn't want to dig deep. I was like, oh, there's nothing wrong with me, right? <laughs> I was in denial but it causes a lot of resistance. So that's the first reason why dark of the souls are so challenging is because there's a lot of resistance to doing the work. Then the second reason is you will uncover a lot of old stuff that is painful. Uh, maybe traumatic events, maybe things that you had put aside you didn't want to deal with. Maybe you've gone through a really ugly divorce or you had been cheated on. Maybe you had lost a loved one many, many years ago and there's still a lot of hurt there. Right? There's all these different things that you're uncovering, whether you're actively doing the work or actually it, it's just happening because a dark night of the soul, think of it like that. I like to use the analogy of a bucket of dirty water. If you let that dirty water sit for a very long time, the dirt goes down and on top is the clear water. But all the dirt is still beneath the surface, right? So that's kind of what's happening here, right? That, that's all your stuff is still deep beneath the surface, Pandora's box, so to speak, right? Now, when a dark night of the soul happens or a spiritual awakening, it's like taking like a, a wooden spoon, going into the bucket and just swirling it around, and making all that dirt just come to the surface, right? That's what happens. So there's a lot of old stuff that comes up. Whether you're having an, all these things coming up uh, while you're sleeping, you're having all these dreams about all these things that you're experiencing, or you're having actually physical things that, you, that are happening in your life where people come into your life and you're experiencing similar things of what you had experienced many, many years ago. Whatever it is, or you're just having those, those things pop in your mind of, you know, memories of old uh, experiences, of past experiences that were very painful. All those things are coming to the surface, which also can be very painful and uncomfortable because you're realizing a lot of the stuff, even especially if it's traumatic things. Maybe you've had childhood trauma that you haven't quite yet dealt with. And all that stuff usually comes to the forefront, comes to the surface during the dark night of the soul. So that also is the reason why it is so painful. And here I have an, a light language activation I want to invite you to, to tune into. It's to help ease the discomfort of a dark night of the soul. So if you're going through a dark night of the soul right now and you're having all that stuff come up and you're feeling very agitated, very tense, very activated because of all the stuff that comes up, definitely tune into that light language. It's in the description below. That will help you just calm down your nervous system, calm down the energy so you can feel better with what's going on. You can also release a lot of that tenseness that you're experiencing because of what's coming up. Then the third reason is that you may feel very much alone on your journey because not everyone understands what you're going through. Maybe you don't have people in your life that actually get what you're saying. Maybe they're actually looking at you like you're totally crazy and you're maybe bipolar or you have lost your mind or anything like that, which makes you then pull away from everyone and everything. And you isolate yourself because you, for one, don't feel like you fit in anymore because you are changing, you are awakening, so you don't feel like you don't fit in anymore. People don't understand you. People may look at you funny or maybe even make stupid comments that are quite hurtful because you can't do anything about this. You are going through the spiritual awakening. You're going through the darkness of the soul. You can't help what is coming to the surface. The one thing that you can do is do the work that is necessary. But that too is why a spiritual awakening journeys or a dark night of the soul is so painful often is because you are alone most of the time. You don't may you may not have that support system that, that really where people understand what you're going through. Maybe you are truly alone. And that can cause immense loneliness and even depression. Then the fourth reason is your life seems like it's falling apart and you can't do anything to stop it. You're just like, it's like you're looking at your life and you're just seeing everything just crumbling away. You're like, I don't know what to do to stop this. There's like, you have no control over it. And it's like there's a, that, a lot of dismantling that is happening because as you're awakening, a lot of old stuff needs to fall away. People, circumstances, situations, all of that. It needs to fall away to make room for a new, more empowered, more awakened you and more evolved path moving forward. And that all that falling away may seem like you're, it's absolutely out of your control. You're just seeing your life falling apart because everything that you have held close, that you have 
experienced for a long time that has been around for a while it's just all falling away even internally as well how you're looking at life how you're responding to life your beliefs all of that is changing too so you may not also realize that you know even that you don't even recognize yourself anymore either so that's another reason why dark enough the souls are often so challenging because your life seems like it's falling apart and there's nothing you can do about it, or at least that's what it may seem that you can't do anything about because you doing your work you actually working with whatever comes up you doing your healing you're discovering you're tuning in and all of that is what actually then helps you get out of it but in the moment it may seem like you have no control over what is happening and I just want you to know is that whatever falls away, don't try to hold on to it, but let it go because it is meant to. It is no longer serving you or your highest good moving forward. And yes, that in itself is also quite challenging. Let's say all of a sudden you're going through a divorce or you're losing all your friends or you're losing your job or your income or all of those different things. It is not comfortable and it is frightening in the moment because your survival is maybe at stake here. But just know that whatever is falling away it's making room for something better and yes I know when you're in the middle of it <laughs> this is not helping I completely get that but just know it is at the end of it it's still to your highest and greatest good then the fifth reason why dark of the souls are so challenging is because you don't often also go through a period of immense hardship and challenge and this can be from certain illnesses to like maybe really bad illnesses, whether it's cancer or something like that, or it could be financial hardship where maybe you are losing your job and or your income or your, your support system or whatnot. Or maybe there's even the death of a loved one that you're then experiencing. It's those intense experiences that really shake us to the core. It's like you're hitting rock bottom. That also is part of the darkness of the soul. Like I said, this is usually in the beginning it's more intense because it's meant to really awaken you but then later down the line as you're experiencing dark enough the souls they are not as intense as the first few because you've already awoken enough to then handle whatever comes up with more ease. So whenever I experience Dark Knight of the Souls now, it is not as intense. I might have like a day where a lot of stuff comes up that where I'm very emotional, very maybe even very angry or things are happening or you know something happens that just lasts for maybe a day or two. I think the longest it, it took lately is, was maybe like a week and that was like because I've gone through an immense inner shift so just know that usually the beginning stages of your awakening and the darkness of the souls are more intense than as you're then moving forward as you're awakening more and more and more it, the intensity of the darkness of the souls it will lessen with time with each stage that you're awakening it will lessen more and more and more but in the beginning you may have those really rock bottom kind of experiences my rock bottom experience was that i had gotten hurt in 2019 and i couldn't work for nine months my business basically flatlined because hey you can't really have phone calls or sales calls when you're absolutely in absolute pain laying on the floor and your energy is just not in it right and then i wasn't making much money i had my parents that had they had to support me because i almost lost everything everything that I owned I almost got put out on the street so that was my rock bottom experience my initial darkness of the soul and it was devastating I mean I was I was a grown woman and I couldn't even support myself I couldn't even support me and my son so it was that was my rock bottom experience and I'm still standing so I, I hope this will help you understand that yes even in the moment you may not see the light at the end of the tunnel but there is a way out like this happened in 2019 now we're in 2024 and hey look at me now I'm still standing right I haven't lost everything I'm doing very well right now yes if you would have told me that back then I probably wouldn't have believed you because I was so stuck in that situation but just believe me you just trust in the process that yes it is hard if you're going through one right now my heart really goes out to you because I know how hard it is when you're going through a dark night of the soul but just know it is as bad as it may sound it is truly to your highest and greatest good it will help you find your path in life it will help you become that more awakened more empowered you that is already within you that you just you know you have been asleep for such a long time so just stick with it uh, don't give up if you do need help get help that's like really the best thing that I can advise you on if you are needing help if you are in this by yourself get help 
And then the sixth and final uh, reason why Dark Knight of the Souls are so challenging uh, at at times is that you feel out of control because so much is happening, your life is falling away, so much is happening outside of you that you simply don't have control over, that you really feel like totally lost, without direction, without knowing what to do, how to move forward. That's how I felt many times during my period of the darkness of the soul. I felt absolutely out of control, like like so much was falling apart, so much was happening that I didn't know how to handle it. I didn't know what to make of it. And there was times when I felt absolutely lost without hope or even direction. So these are the common reasons why Dark Knight of the Souls are so challenging. Now, I hope you knowing these reasons now will give you the awareness to then do something about it. My best advice for you is, is get help. Find a support system, whether it is like-minded people or people that really understand you, or maybe even see if you can work with someone, uh, a coach, a mentor, a healer, a guide, someone that can really help you. Maybe even taking courses or something like that. But you want to do the inner work. If you're resisting doing the inner work, it, that's what makes it so challenging. So I hope this video was beneficial to you. I hope you learned a lot out of this and, and gained some awareness of why you may experience what you're experiencing and then giving you the, the awareness that now you can do something about it whatever you need to really help you make it through this. And oftentimes, like I said, getting help is maybe the best thing that you can do. But I want to thank you for, for being here. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit the like button. Maybe leave me a comment below. Let me know, are you going through a dark night of the soul right now? Is whatever I shared with you, does that resonate with you? Or if you've been through a dark night of the soul before, what were, you, what were the things that you did that helped you really cope with everything that you were experiencing? I would love to know. Leave me a comment below. But thank you so much for being here. Now be sure to check out these two videos. It's about the signs and symptoms about dark night of the soul and the light language activation to really help you with the energetics, to really help you uh, go through this with more ease. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Until then, make an amazingly abundant and joyful day. Namaste.